Hi ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? This video is about uh, fog mass laser in three phase systems and uh, in this uh, video I will try to demonstrate uh, each and every block step by step uh, but the thing is that it's not a kind of very practical uh, simulation just a little bit of a theoretical uh, simulation and we are just uh, using a simulac to do this so all the blocks which are used uh, in this simulation or this model is from uh, sim power system library and uh, suppose if you want to just choose a three phase source then you have to go to the uh, sim power system and uh, it's just uh, electrical sources and here it is and uh, if you want to just uh, uh, use this block three phase vi measurements then it is over here uh, where's uh, yeah, uh, here this measurements and here is a three phase uh, VI measurements block. Let's just get started from here or source, which is three phase source. And uh, the parameters are that we are using uh, 11 kV kilovolts, uh, which is our RMS value. And we are just not uh, changing the angles and just doing a frequency. Base voltages are also the same, which are RMS voltages. Next thing is we are using a circuit breaker, uh, which is three phase. The thing is that it have three inputs and, uh, uh, sorry, four inputs and uh, three outputs. The three inputs are just coming from three phase source and the circuit breaker is actuated by some kind of external mechanism which is a relay. So we have fourth uh, uh, link is from relay. So the thing is that initial state is the circuit breaker is closed. Yes, it should be. And then uh, I haven't changed all of the other parameters. And the most important thing over here is the switching time. So I'm just controlling the switching time of this uh, circuit breaker by some external source, which is obviously a relay, which is here. Next step is we are just uh, doing a measurements because we have to calculate the, how much uh, excessive front is passing through the system when a fault occurs. So it has three inputs and uh, it has also three outputs because the input is going same to same to the load but we have to measure the VA uh, voltages and current and current measurements yes face to face we all we are using and just okay so here we are using DMUX which has one input and three outputs so you can change the number of outputs from here of a DMUX and uh, this is our th uh, three phase load and uh, nominal Phase to phase vo voltages are 11 kV, frequency is 50, and active power is this, and inductive power is this. Low flow is the low type, is the constant Z. Next, the most important thing is that we have a three phase fault, which is will be which will be induced in this uh, circuit over here. So before load, and this three phase uh, <coughs> fault will occur at when this step functions actuates this fault mechanism and we are just have a step of 0 0.1 so when the time will be 0 0.1 a pulse will be generated from step functions and it enters the three phase and the fault will occur so initial value is always zero and final value is also always one now we are just uh, using scopes to see the voltages and current and then the most important thing which is our relay so it is a kind of subsystem which has three inputs and uh, one output so here is our uh, relay so it's a kind of theoretical relay, not practical because I don't think so any SR flip flaws are being used in kind of uh, relays, but they can be used in simulations. So here we are just trying to compare the input voltages, uh, sorry, input uh, current and when it's cross a certain limit, for example, 30 into 10 raised to the power 3, uh, 30 kilo amperes, then this comparison will be done. So to compare, thing, to compare two values, we have to use this block. So it's kind of a rational operator. When you're gonna uh, choose this operator, uh, you're gonna choose thing greater than because we have a lot of uh, uh, options. And that I will be Boolean because we are just taking input in the terms of binary here. And uh, after doing this comparison, we are just giving this output to the SR flip-flop. and. Uh, the thing is that R of port of this 3 flip flop is connected to the constant mm -hmm. and uh, the output of this uh, comparison rational operator is going to the S block and we are not using this uh, Q output so we used a terminator and then uh, the Q dash 
is just used now here we are just uh, using an AND gate a, lo a logical operator the thing is that it has a number of three it has a number of three inputs and uh, the thing is that if all of these values are one or so the same then the AND gate will give one and as the output of the AND gate is digital so we're gonna just convert it from digital to double so it's a data conversion and you can just change it from here so here's double and uh, after that here our output the output is going from here to this circuit breaker so as the fall occurs the relationship is compared when the current is exceeding to the safe limit which is uh, and then uh, this uh, circle actuates the most important thing is that I'm using this uh, running simulation for 0.3 seconds and the fall will occur at 0.1 seconds. So let's run the simulation. The simulation has been run is 26%. We're gonna check the output from these scopes. So uh, first of all, we'll just check the scope output of this. So the thing is that the current was flowing normally. As you can see over here, which is around about uh, one, uh, 1 into 10 raised to the power maybe 4 amps. Now, when the fall occurs at 0 0.1, which is our step functions when get actuated at 0 0.1, the fall is induced into this circuit. So, what happens? At the same time, a huge amount of current flows into the circuit, which is around about 6 into 10 raised to the power 4, which is more than the comparison value over here. So we are just comparing that amount of current to this. So as the current is exceeding 10 raised to the power 4, the relay is executed and as you can see, the, the voltage is, or the current is now 0, up to the second 0 0.3 second of simulation. So you might have also have observed that mm, the fall is occurred at here and still it's increasing and then the relay haven't stopped the current until unless you don't uh, it touches uh, zero value so the relay is operating until unless the value is zeroed and you have to almost uh, complete the circle until and unless it reaches to the reference value of zero ampere so that was our current and uh, if you click this you can have just uh, three phase uh, voltages so as you can see just voltages are uh, flowing but as the fall is occur at 0 0.1 as you can see over here uh, when a short circuit happens a lot of current is produced and the voltage almost approaches zero so at the same time as you can see the voltage is approaching zero very rapidly over here the thing is that you can just make three output uh, uh, you can make the scope to take three input from here number of axes are three and uh, that's it so that was our simulation, but the thing is that it's not kind of very practical, but, uh, but it is uh, theoretical. Uh, the file will be in the description that you can just download it. Uh, have a good day. Take care. Bye.